For many, Diego Armando Maradona will be remembered as the greatest footballer of all time, but he'll also go down as one of the sport's most controversial and polarizing figures. After bursting onto the scene as a free-scoring teen in his homeland of Argentina, the South American moved to Europe when he joined Spanish giants Barcelona before heading to Italy's Napoli, moves that saw him become the only player in football history to set a world record transfer fee twice. Maradona became an instant cult hero in Serie A during a trophy-laden period in the late 80s, in which he helped the Neapolitans win the Scudetto for the first time in their history, as well as the UEFA Cup. But a dark side had been brewing, and reported drug problems from earlier in his career came back to haunt him when a 15-month ban for testing positive for cocaine was handed down in 1991. If there's one match, though, that best sums up his life, it has to be the 1986 World Cup quarterfinal with England that took place in Mexico, a match set against the backdrop of the recent Falklands War between the two countries. The famed number 10's now notorious first goal was allowed to stand, despite the fact Maradona, who would later refer to it as the hand of God, had actually punched the ball into the back of the net. Minutes later, though, he left England's players trailing in his wake, scoring a goal that would later be voted the greatest in tournament history. Argentina would go on to beat West Germany in the final. A favourite World Cup memory of Maradona, I mean, people would simply say the goal that he scored against England, you know, in, in, uh, in 86, but at the same time, he would bring up the handball <laughs> in, in that game. So, so that maybe shows also the, the, the kind of... Uh, extremes of Diego Maradona in the positive and in the negative way. And that's what, what often soccer is about. It's about extremes and it's about all the different emotions and depending on what side of the field you are on, you take it positively or you take it negatively. But at the 1994 tournament in the USA, Maradona would again hit the headlines for all the wrong reasons after being sent home from the tournament after failing a drug test for effigy. For him, it was a, a shattering moment, um, and it also was a shattering moment for Argentina and Argentine fans. This was really the end of the road. I mean, you couldn't have more of a humiliation than to have your great icon, uh, your great national figure, uh, expelled from a, 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 a grandstanding sporting event like uh, the World Cup, and particularly the first one to be held in the United States. Despite his health problems, Maradona surprised many in the game and he returned to the national team as manager, leading the Alba Celeste to the quarterfinals of the 2010 tournament in South Africa. In 2000, he was joint winner with the legendary Pelé of the FIFA Player of the Century Award. He was not only an amazing player, he was an artist. He could see through people, he could see through back lines, he could pass, you know, in moments where you don't think this is the right pass and boom, it goes through a couple of three, four guys and finds a striker and, and they finish up scoring or he does it himself. Um, so you have this artistic brain and then the sad part, he was not capable to get his own personal life under control, you know, with, with drug issues and, and with whatever personal issues and you suffer with Diego Maradona because, you know, it was one of the most outstanding players in, in soccer history.